हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू द चैनल आज का वीडियो एल एस का दूसरा लेक्चर है पहला लेक्चर हमारा पहला चैप्टर वाला वो कंप्लीट हो चुका है आज दूसरे चैप्टर में जो चैप्टर का नाम है अग्नथा फिशेस एंड एम्फीविया सो इन दिस चैप्टर जो भी हमारे क्वेश्चंस बनते हैं वो सारे इम्पोर्टेंट मैं यहाँ आपको इम्पोर्टेंट क्या सब कुछ ही इसमें बताऊंगी पूरा संपूर्ण लेक्चर रहेगा आपका अग्नता फिशेज एंड एम्फीविया के ऊपर अभी हमारा लेक्चर स्टार्ट होगा जो संपूर्ण इंग्लिश में रहेगा तो आपको जो है डिस्क्रिप्शन बॉक्स में जाना है वहाँ पर शो ट्रांसक्रिप्ट बटन को दबाना है और फिर वहाँ पर मेरा ट्रांसक्रिप्ट जो मैं बोल रही होंगी वो सारी चीज़ें वहाँ पर आपको दिखाई देंगी जिससे आपको आसानी होगी समझने में ठीक है डिस्क्रिप्शन बॉक्स पर जाइए शो ट्रांसक्रिप्ट का बटन दबाइए लेट्स स्टार्ट दिस चैप्टर अग्नथा फिशेज एंड एम्फीविया वी नो अग्नथा दिज आर द जॉलेस फिशेज एंड इन दिस चैप्टर वी विल नो अबाउट दिस थिंग्स अग्नथा फिशेज एंड एम्फीविया द फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन इन दिस चैप्टर इज दैट इज लिस्ट एनी थ्री कैरेक्टर्स ईच ऑफ साइक्लोस्टोम्स दैट आर प्रिमिटिव स्पेशलाइज एंड डी जेनरेटेड ओके सो साइक्लोस्टोम्स वी नो दिज आर जॉलेस फिश लाइक द लैम्प्रीज हैग फिश इन दिस क्वेश्चन इट हैज एग्ड वॉट आर द प्रिमिटिव कैरेक्टर्स एंड स्पेशलाइज कैरेक्टर्स एंड डी जेनरेटेड कैरेक्टर्स ऑफ साइक्लोस्टोम्स सो फर्स्ट द प्रिमिटिव कैरेक्टर्स ऑफ साइक्लोस्टोम्स लाइक presence of jaws and paired limbs presence of diffuseral caudal fin vertebra either absent or poorly developed these three characteristics are the primitive characteristics of cyclostomes next move to the specialized characters of cyclostomes the characteristics of sac like gill pouches present well developed external eyes and inner ear present presence of pro and meso nephric kidneys have you remember these three things three important characteristics specialized character sac like gill pouches well developed external eyes and inner ear presence of pro and meso nephric kidneys third character that is the degenerate characters the characteristics are like this lack of an exoskeleton lack of ossification and endoskeleton reduced liver and lack of gall bladder in adult lampreys so cyclostomes three characters we have discussed primitive specialized and degenerate next move to the question number 2 the question is what are the basic organizational modifications required when the vertebrates Swift over from an aquatic environment to a terrestrial environment. Answer will be like this: ability of the organism to support its weight on land, ability to resist drying and rapid temperature changes, ability to extract oxygen from air. So, if three things are there, then the vertebrates. can swift from aquatic environment to terrestrial environment so this abilities are required or modifications are required in an organism to switch from aquatic environment to terrestrial environment otherwise it cannot live in land third question it for is meant by double circulation in double circulation the systematic circulation is concerned with the supply of oxygenated blood from the heart to different organs and organ systems of the body and the collection of deoxygenated blood from the organs and organ systems to the heart in the second circulation the deoxygenated blood reaches lungs for oxygenation and is then returned to the heart for supply to various parts of the body the two circulation are isolated from each other but the blood for any one circulation is provided by the other so this is the double circulation as the blood is is reaching to the heart for the two times okay fourth question list any five salient features of amphibia amphibia's characteristics first lack of an exoskeleton adapted to live both on land and water skin buccal cavity and lungs are the respiratory organs 
predominantly oviparous forms larva undergo metamorphosis before becoming adults next question list any six salient features of elasmo branch first fusiform body heteroceral tail paired pectoral and pelvic fins two dorsal median fins pelvic fins in males modified as claspers skin with mucous glands and placoid scales entirely cartilaginous endoskeleton intestine with a spiral valve circulatory system with seven pairs of aortic arc and respiration with five to seven pairs of gills mesonephric kidney high concentrations of urea and triethyl amine oxide in blood for the purpose of osmoregulation question number 6 is what are the factors that have been responsible for the success of bony fishes in mastering the aquatic environment so the question says what are the different factors that are responsible for the bony fishes but they are lived in aquatic environment why they have mastered that thing so bony fishes it has streamlined body either eel shaped or spindle shaped that facilitate facilitates movement through water causing almost no turbulence so first thing bony fishes has streamlined body next thing the presence of gas filled swim bladder as a result it enables to achieve neutral buoyancy and float in water third gills designed as thin filaments covered with thin epidermal membrane that is folded repeatedly into plate like lambda and richly supplied with blood vessels fourth thing is the evolution of jaws which enables it to free in a variety of ways the evolution of jaws which enables it to feed in a variety of ways five number fifth thing that is the migration scene for feeding breeding and development fresh water eels migrate to sea water for spawning and sea living salmon migrate to fresh water for the same purpose next question is briefly write on the origin of tetrapoda limbs and terrestrial respiration so what are the origin of tetrapoda limbs and how is the origin of terrestrial respiration first thing we will see origin of tetrapod limbs the evolution of tetrapod limbs occurred during the devonian period the fishes had to move from the drying pools and ponds to the ones that still contain water the the crossopterygians the crossopterygians used their lobed fins as paddles to lever their way across the land in search of water the contraction of muscles of the lobes would move them backwards and forwards relative to the body and thus assist in locomotion slowly the limbs elongated and were torn away from the body this is followed by distinct blends in the limbs downwards at elbow and knee and upwards at wrist and ankle this allowed tetrapods to have a firm application to the ground as well as to raise themselves off the ground the transformation is completed by bringing the limbs to the side of the body by rotation this resulted in the elbow being pointed backward and the knee forward so these are the origin of tetrapoda limbs next the origin of terrestrial respiration origin of ter- terrestrial respiration also appears during devonian times at a time when the climate altered between droughts and floods the drought resulted in the drying up of fresh water bodies many low find and ray finned bony fishes had a long developed as out pocket of pharynx with increased vascularization and rich capillary network lungs became primary org- organs of gas exchange in tetrapods a pulmonary vein returned the blood to heart and complete the pulmonary circuit thus a double circulation came to be established and this is the origin of terrestrial respiration next is 
question briefly explain this term first term is holostyly holostyly is a type of jaw suspension found in holocephaly here the upper jaw is fused with the skull and the lower jaw is suspended from it so this is holostyly next term is difficile tail this type of tail occurs in hag fishes the tail tapers to a point and the vertebral column extends to tip without upturning next term is swim bladder it is a diverticulum from the pharynx or esophagus in many fishes originally it was lateral in position but subsequently assumed a dorsal position it may be a single lobe or paired lobes it is present in pelagic fishes but absent in bottom living fishes gas is added to the bladder when the fish descends to greater depth and when the fish swims up the gas is removed from the bladder and make the fish lighter in crossopterygians and dipnoe it arises from ventral wall of pharynx and the structure resembles lungs of vertebrates next term that you have to describe is living fossils living fossils are those organisms which have not undergone much change since their origin and hence retain all the primitive characters example latimeria chalumni it originated during devonian period and persisted unchanged for nearly 100 million years living fossils provide clues to origin and evolution of specific groups of organisms the last term and question is neoteny neoteny is a developmental phenomenon in which an organism may attain its sexual maturity during larval stage it means during the larval stage if an organism attain its sexual maturity then this phenomenon is called neoteny or we can say that the retention of larval characters in adulthood is also called neoteny it is mostly seen in certain urodal amphibians example nectures and ambyostoma and after this we have complete finally we have completed the second lecture thank you so much for viewing if you have any question any doubt if you want pdf do comment in our comment section have a nice day thank you so much